Hey everyone, this is Chris, uh, back this week with a little bit more serious take on the side quest deck. Uh, we still have Thalion, we still have Thurindir, lots of side quests. I have added in Legacy Blades and swapped out the <laughs> funny, but not exactly very useful, uh, Leather Boots for Ents. We do still have some item attachments that can go on our Ent allies. Hauberk of Mail on a Durmdingo Warrior actually turns them into very effective defenders, which can come in handy for this scenario that I'm playing. Rome, oh god, what is it? <laughs> Rome across Ravanian. It's like a word in the middle there that is important, but I don't ever remember what it is. Anyways, so uh, we gotten started, already set up everything. This is the second time, unfortunately, I'm recording this video today. Uh, in the last video, the autofocus on my camera just never quite locked on to my table, uh, which meant that it was constantly drifting in and out. And that's no fun. So, I've already drawn my opening hand. Play Gather Information as my first quest. Like pretty much always. I'm going to use Darren's runes, draw two cards. Okay, perfect. That is the card that I was looking for, uh, Good Harvest, which allows me to get Steward rolling immediately. I have to discard one, which I think at this point is going to be this Treebeard. Um, I have Gimli in my hand, which is another huge character for Hauberk of Mail, and having Erdog tends to make the start a little simpler. Uh, so let's play Good Harvest, naming leadership. Spend two resources to put Steward of Gondor on Gildor, uh, which allows me to spend one immediately to just draw another card. And that's really all I could do this round, but I have healing and Ents for next round. Um, and as long as I don't draw a second Hills of Wilderland, I think that I will be able to clear this first side quest. So let's do it. Uh, starting off with 9, 10, 11. My threat is pretty low, so I'm probably not going to have to deal with an enemy. 11 up against 4, 5, 6. Uh, means that I will make 5 progress, which is going to clear this gather information and allow me to go grab any card I want. Normally, I would go and grab uh, Steward of Gondor if I didn't have it, but since I do, I think I'm going to get a side quest uh, in order to help accelerate. Do I? No, there it is. All right, I'm gonna grab Send for Aid. I like Send for Aid. <laughs> I won't get to play it just yet. I forgot to flip this. Well, actually, I probably will. Just means I won't get Gimli next round, which is fine. All right. So let me let me travel to Hills of Wilderland. Uh, it's a really obnoxious location, and I don't think I mind too much moving on to stage two. It'll still give us plenty of time to build up and the additional objectives are pretty nice. But that's all I can do this round, so. I'll refresh all our characters. 24 threat now, heading into round two. Draw one card. There's an interesting one. Uh, so, Good Harvest actually makes it really easy to play a lot of different things. Uh, first things first, spend one to send for eight. Uh, free allies, always nice. And if we clear it, that means the Hills of Wilderland is already gone, just based on the way this works. Uh, yeah, let me spend two for a Hallfast Gamgee. Allows me to add one 
resource to anyone's pool. I think I'm going to put on Thurndir himself. Um, I have a Wandering Ent and a Warden of Healing in my hand, both of which are definitely worth making sure I can accelerate. All right, so that means questing. Send now 10, 12, uh, 14. And I should still be low enough to dodge most of the enemies. So 14 up against two. All right. Hobgoblin is guarding this deep knowledge very well. That is 100% fine. So uh, 14 up against three means that I will make 11 progress, just enough to counteract Hills of Wilderland and put six progress on send for aid. So moving all these things in approximately the right order and advance to stage 2A. And I shuffled these already. This one is Retrieve Erdog's Horn. I'm just going to pull out Erdog's Horn. And I have to go and find a Grey Mountain Giant. It's actually possibly for the best. Uh, they don't hit that hard. And it allows me to stall really effectively on this stage until I am forced to deal with the Ogre. Uh, but it does mean that this Hobgoblin is going to be now three threat instead of just one. So maybe that's not the best. All right. Well, uh, I do get an ally from the top 10. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, let me... Yeah, Thalion, uh, I am one side quest away from turning him into a hero. And even though he is probably the easiest of the allies to play, it's still nice to get him online sooner rather than later. I do have another side quest in my hand, uh, which will allow me to turn him into a hero. So that's also always a plus. I guess I will travel to the Lonely Lands just to drop that to threat. Uh, my questing is pretty good right now, but it could be better. Refresh brings me up to 25 threat. Draw a card. That's an interesting one. This should now be at four. And the Hills of Wilderland is gone, at least one of them, which means that I can pretty safely play allies this round and not worry about it too much. So let's spend four for Gimli, uh, another auto ready inquester. Spend two for a wandering ent. And two more for Warden of Healing. Yeah, and I think this will be worth it. Uh, I'm going to spend, so I'm going to Good Harvest, naming Leadership, uh, and spend that Tactics resource to put in Prepare for Battle. I don't know that I'm going to clear it this round, but getting that extra card draw online is kind of amazing. So let's quest. Uh, now with two side quests is 8, 11, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 committed to the quest. Up against 7. All right. Up against 9. 10 progress. Clears the Lonely Lands and puts 5 on to prepare for battle. I will travel to Lonely Lands. Uh, I basically don't have any cards for that to, to capture. Like, I, I guess I could play Deep Knowledge during the quest phase, but at, 
seems like a pretty obvious thing to not do. So I'm not worried about it. You need combat thallium already. Eh, it's not worth it. All right, we'll just refresh. I am obviously going to have to deal with that hobgoblin at some point, as well as the Grey Mountain Troll. But for right now, I can just quest. Draw my cards, generate these resources. I will spend one off of Gildor to draw a card. Right, Storm Comes is nice, but probably a little too late for anything other than bonus willpower. I can't play Wandering Ent right now, and I don't think I want to play the Arkenstone. Although it would be a lot of extra willpower. Let's, let's wait and see a little bit and decide for Arkenstone in a minute. Uh, so once again, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, up against 7. Against 10 is 11 progress. Goodbye, Lonely Lands. And that's prepared for battle complete. So now uh, Thalion is a hero. Gimli also readies, thanks to his trigger. I think I will engage this Hobgoblin because I can defend and fight back. Uh, Thalion readies during the combat phase. Uh, so I will have Gimli defend. Shadow effect is returning the enemy to the staging area. I really hate that ability. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, but okay, time to move on. 27 threat, round five. I need an additional resource die. Uh, this might actually <laughs> come back to haunt me because I know there's the treachery that eats up all your character's resources. Uh, I do get to draw two cards this round. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that feels pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna play Deep Knowledge, taking up to 29 threat. Draw two more cards. Hmm. Uh, let me play Darren's Runes to draw an additional two cards. Uh, Scout Ahead is so nice. Uh, yeah, let me discard the Storm Comes. I think once I have Scout Ahead, and that really allows me to be very flexible with my resources, thanks to Thalion, that everything will be quite nice. Uh, so I'll do another Darren's Runes. Out of all of these, I think we can spare the Arkenstone. Uh, this army is getting to be fairly unstoppable already. Spend one, two, three. Play a Warden of Helm's Deep. One more gives the Warden a Hauberk of Mail. Sets him up quite nicely in the staging area, more or less. I'll spend two resources for a second Warden of Healing. And I will play Scout Head. All right, so questing now. This becomes, uh, I should use one of these dice to track Thurindir's willpower, but it's easier to count. Uh, nine, 12, 13, 14, uh, let's leave her, Doug. 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, up against a grand total of 10. Uh, and I'm gonna pick Scout Ahead. So 20 against 10, and we reveal Deep Ravine. That honestly seems fine. Uh, 20 against 12 is eight progress, which allows me to scout ahead looking at the top five cards from the encounter deck. Uh, and what I'm really gambling on right now is that maybe the second Hills of Wilderland is in these five cards. 
It's not. Um, can I pick anything? I mean, anything. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out this gathering gloom. Um, actually, no, that's basically just doomed one in surge. That doesn't seem bad at all. Let me, let me get rid of a wilderland bear. And I'll put, I'll put the surge right away so that I know it's coming. Uh, and basically stack up locations. So I'm gonna be doomed a little bit next round, but that is fine. We'll travel to the deep ravine. I'm gonna have access to five attack. Mm, yeah, I'll just do myself twice. I think at this point that we are pretty safe on engaging enemies. I'll optionally engage this hobgoblin to pull that three threat out of the staging area. Valiant readies. And I will defend with the Warden of Helm's Deep. Shadow effect is... Oh, right. I put the doomed one in Surge on the top. So that's fine. That doesn't do anything since the Warden of Helm's Deep laughs off the one damage attack. And unfortunately, five back is just not enough. But that's all right. 32 threat, round six. Should have more than enough combat potential to clear out this hobgoblin very soon. Uh, drawing two cards around also really helps especially with the potential to draw more, thanks to Gildor, and the resource flexibility of Dalian. So draw my two cards. Nichols of Girion, I don't really care about. Uh, let me spend two for a quick beam. Comes in with a damage on him. I will spend one to draw a card. Extra Thalion is actually really nice. Um, because it means that if Thalion has to defend an attack, I'll just replace him. And other than that, I'll just leave it like this. Uh, so, <laughs> once again, we're going to quest, uh, and we're going to pick main quest this time. Try and kill this hobgoblin this round. And I know a location is coming that is doomed one and two threat. Uh, but it allows me to ready a character. So, 6, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, up against 7. 19 up against 9 is 10 progress. Clears the deep ravine, puts 6 ish on there. Uh, Doomed One does tick up. I did forget that this Hobgoblin has two more defense, so he should actually be at two fewer damage on him. Uh, but I will travel to Slopes of Arid Mithrin. I'm just going to allow me to ready... I guess I'll take this Wandering Ant. I have way more than enough damage to defend this. Uh, and I'll definitely be able to deal with a giant next round. So I think we're just going to leave it like so. Uh, Warden of Helm's Deep is going to defend this Hobgoblin attack. I looked at these cards. I should have known that this, <laughs> that this shadow effect was coming. Uh, but no, the Hobgoblin is going back into the staging area. I was just thinking about this earlier too, that uh, keeping enemies engaged with you allows you to sort of skip encounter effects by uh, having them pass through as shadow cards. And then I forgot that I stacked the deck and was completely capable of doing that myself. All right, well, Warden of Healing is going to <laughs> clear off Quick Beam. And maybe next round I'll just take the Giant. 
Right. Warden of Helm's Deep should be able to defend just fine. Uh, Thalion also works really well, especially while he doesn't have any attachments because if he dies, I'll just play another one. All right, draw my card five, one and one, and up to five here as well. What I'll do is pay two of those for another Wandering Ent. Four of these. Now let's, three of these for a uh, second Warden of Helm's Deep. I'm going to move my victory display. I can stack these up next to each other. I'll spend one more to draw a card with Gilder's ability. Okay, see now, now I don't want to lose Thalion. Give him a Legacy Blade, so he is currently at 5 attack. I have all these tactics resources, but nothing to spend them on. Uh, but that's all right. So, up against 10 in the staging area yet again. Here is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to deal with the troll. This is 8, uh, 12. I think I'm just going to go like this. 13, 17. Up against 10. All right. Uh, immediate attack or one random card. I'll take the random card. It's totally fine. Hey, a Necklace of Gyrion. I was not really prepared to play that right now anyways, uh, since an enemy guarding the attachment becomes a big deal. Uh, but my 19 up against now 13 is more than enough to clear this location. I'm going to be forced to engage the bear. I should be able to easily kill it. Uh, but I think I'm also going to engage... Let's take the hobgoblin, actually. Or should I take the troll? Uh, let's, let's take these two, clear out the hobgoblin. Uh, being able to doom myself sort of strategically, get more cards is going to be nice. All right, so Thalion's going to ready. Uh, we will have the unbuffed warden defend against the hobgoblin, whose shadow effect sends it back to the staging area. Other warden is going to defend against the bear, also gets a shadow effect, plus two attack. So that is six attack versus four defense, that's two damage on. Uh, but since he has sentinel, that means that Hobbert also gives him HP, so he is totally fine. Uh, and the bear is very easy to destroy. Pretty sure I could have killed the Hobgoblin too, but uh, alas. I will use double wardens to heal this warden. Different kinds of wardens. And I guess we're ready to move on. I didn't get that deep knowledge. I will say this is already going substantially better than the first attempt I did uh, where I got double location locked by Hills of Wilderland early and just sort of never made it past that until my threat went completely through the roof. Uh, let's put a second legacy blade. This should be four resources now, I think. All right, I'll spend one to draw a card. It's deep knowledge anyways. Um, I should be able to kill the troll, especially with two legacy blades on Thalion. Draw two. Hey, Durndingle Warrior and a Hauberk of Mail. Nice. All right, so two tactics resources for a Durndingle Warrior that you might not be able to see on camera. One leadership for Hauberk of Mail. I have so many resources left, I might as well play out a Warden of Healing. 
yeah, at this point, Hills of Wilderland is going to wreck me uh, if it shows up. But I have a lot of characters, and I know the second one is in the discard pile. So let's quest. Once again, we got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 against 10 is fine because I don't need to make any progress. Let's just do it. All right, 17 against 10. Hunting Eagle is going to surge and Lonely Lands is completely fine. All right, so 17 up against 13 would be four more progress, but I don't really need to track it, so I'll be a little lazy. Toss cards all over the place, traveling to Lonely Lands. I am forced to engage this Hunting Eagle and this Stone Troll, so we'll just <laughs> take those two and call it a day. Beginning of combat, Thalion will ready. All right, so uh, three damage attack I will take on the Warden of Helm's Deep. Please do not go back to the staging area. Attacking enemy gets plus one, absolutely fine. Warden of Helm's Deep has a hit point. And if I defend with the other Warden, I am basically just hoping for no shadow effect. Because um, he has just enough to survive with one HP. So we'll try it. Hey, no shadow effect. My gamble is rewarded. The Warden takes two damage. And at this point, I need, what, 12 to kill a stone troll, so that is eight. 12. And only four, four, I have like eight left, so it doesn't matter. So there goes that eagle. I think I got one more round before I have to swap over recordings, so let's get to it. Maybe round nine. Uh, we we stalled a little more than I think I was intending to, but at this point, uh, we should be able to just breeze through everything. Let's draw two cards. There's one of the ones that I was looking for. Two five resources on Gildor, so I'm gonna spend one to draw a card yet again. Uh, we spend four off Eowyn for a Darewine. Allow me to cancel some of those shadow effects. It's another phenomenal hauberk of mail carrier, uh, which actually sounds pretty funny if you say it that way. Uh, I should have used wardens to heal my wardens last round, so we'll just pretend that I did. I'll spend three for another warden of Helm's Deep. Uh, so now I am definitely capable of tanking both of these enemies. Let's quest. Here is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, 17 is good enough. Let's drop against 7. When revealed, I have to choose and engage an enemy. So that actually just helps me make progress. Oh, I'll pick the Grey Mountain Giant. Uh, make way too much progress, which clears the Lonely Lands. Optionally engage the Hobgoblin. And once again, we're just hoping that these characters will stick around long enough for me to murder them. Uh, Darewine is going to defend the giant, so I can cancel that shadow. Shadow is nothing. Uh, and I will have a buffed up warden defend against the hobgoblin. If the first player controls... Yeah, okay, well, fine. We'll exhaust him. Shocking. Uh, no damage has happened. So here is three, uh, I need to do six in order to take out. Uh, let's actually math this out. So I need to do 15 on the Grey Mountain Giant. Here is eight, 12, 14, uh, 15 with the Durndingle Warrior. And I have three, four, five left for the Hobgoblin. 
<laughs> which which does two. All right. That's okay. I claim Erdog's horn, attach it to Erdog, killing the goblin and sending me. Fuck, I hate this so much. All right, I uh, may have lost a little bit because I was wrong about my ability to get that round in in less than 30 minutes, uh, but we did clear the stage by killing the troll and claiming the horn. So now we're on to second stage 2A, uh, which forces me to try and find this location in the discard pile. Gray Moorland. Uh, which I will attach tiny to. I do not have to shuffle the decks back together, so that's all well and good. And we'll finish refreshing. So 39, round 10, uh, all of my army of allies stands back up. I probably don't even need to use Erdug's horn at all. But we shall see. I totally failed to scout the encounter deck for what's left, though I did see there is still one Hills of Wilderland. All right, draw my two cards for the round. There is a Hauberk, which I am definitely looking forward to. Okay, uh, spend one resource off of Gildor. Draw myself a card. Ooh, all right. Uh, spend four, thanks to Thalion. <laughs> Play a Faramir. Um, <laughs> running out of room, so we're just gonna, gonna start expanding this direction. One last leadership resource to put a Hauberk of Mail on Darewine, uh, which means I should be able to take pretty much any attack safely at this point. Two more tactics resources for another Durndingle warrior. And I'm running out of stuff in my deck to put on the table. Uh, so let's just try and clear this real fast. So questing for 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, I will probably use Faramir to make it 18, 19, 20, 20, 22 up against three in the staging area. All right, up against seven uh, is way more than the five progress that I need. So let me travel to this Grey Moorland, shuffling the encounter deck discard pile back in, and then discarding until I hit a treachery. So this is either going to be absolutely terrible uh, or is going to be completely fine. I only have two resources, so that treachery is only doomed to, uh, but there's definitely some other nasty ones. So we shall see. Uh, one, nope. Oh, Hills of Wilderland is gone. Again, hunting eagle, pack of wargs, swarm of bats. Oh, right. This is the one that Dooms based on discarded resources. So two resources means two threat. Uh, should be completely fine. I do still have to cycle through and reclaim the objectives, but I think my threat is going to be all right as long as I don't get too much more dooming. I'm not going to play this deep knowledge for sure. So deal out those shadow cards. Uh, the warriors are attacking for four. It can make two attacks, but the second one doesn't get a shadow card, so completely fine. What is it? Discard an attachment you control. And at this point, I'll get rid of Hauberk of Mail. Um, I have enough of them, not too worried about it. So that is one point of damage on Darewine. Defend the Hobgoblin. Shadow effect is nothing. All right, so here's eight from Thalion, which kills the Warg, uh, and I need two in order to finally take out this Hobgoblin who has been sitting here forever. 
guarding the deep knowledge. That's really all I got this round. So we take it up, moving on. Counter is at 11. <laughs> the stack of allies grows ever larger and having to put attachments on all of them makes it much harder to keep this play space organized. Draw my two cards for the round. Generate some resources. Don't have enough tactics to play this last Durndingo Warrior, but quite honestly, I think I don't need it. Oh, that's the wrong character. Spend one off Gildor to draw a card. Spend two for a third Wandering Ent. And real quick, I'm going to count. I got five cards left in my deck. All right, so let's go a little bit quickly. Here is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and that had better be enough up against the empty staging area. All right, Hunting Eagle surges into a swarm of bats that takes three resources and brings me up to 45. Um, we might be in more trouble than I thought because I stalled too long and I can't spend all the resources immediately. I mean, I suppose I could proactively waste uh, lore resources with Wardens of Healing, since it says up to two different characters. Eh, actually, I don't think I can target that. But anyways, uh, way more than enough progress to clear this Grey Moorland, especially with the option to Faramir. <laughs> Give me control of Tiny. I'm going to completely ignore forever. Uh, forced to engage the Hunting Eagle. Valiant and readies. Uh, I'll defend with three attack. Yeah, I'll defend with the Warden of Helm's Deep. Shadow effect is nothing, takes no damage, and Valiant is more than enough. Uh, we should have moved on to the other stage two before this. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab a deep ravine and put the key on it. Unfortunately, can't travel because that happened uh, could I have traveled? I think I could have traveled. And I didn't use Erdug, so yeah. <laughs> Doing things out of order, but I traveled. So now all I need to do is, oh no, right, but you can't because of that. So yes, I need to make progress, travel, clear, and then kill this stupid goblin. Uh, but I don't think that the two of them are gonna be able to do much up against the army. So here we go. 46, round 12. Too many allies, heroes, and attachments. Draw two cards, generate all these resources. Again, I put that on the wrong one. All right, uh, I'll spend one on Gildor to draw. That's all the deep knowledge. Uh, spend one, two, three, four. Uh, let's actually leave one of the leadership resources. Sorry, that was good harvest, not deep knowledge. Uh, I'm going to play Aristor. And at this point, I'm going to discard Steward of Gondor to draw another card. Legacy Blade is sweet. I might as well put that on Aowen so that I can Aowen smash if I feel like dooming myself. Yeah, really, I just have this resource to cancel a shadow. All right, I need to make five progress. So here's four, 10, 13, 14, 15. Uh, might as well go up to 19 with my non-attacking characters. All right, that just gained surge to a second deep ravine. Once again, we put more than six progress on so I can travel to that deep ravine. It's not even any enemies, so we just move straight to refresh. Actually, at this point, kind of want one of those shadows that gets rid of an attachment so I can lose Steward of Gondor. I don't think we'll see that treachery again, but just in case. <laughs> Draw my last card. Heading into round 13. 
generate some resources. It's true beer. Uh, might as well spend them. Three, four. <laughs> Turns into tree beard. I could put my hand where my deck was. All right. Uh, questing again. Just need to clear the deep ravine. 13, 14, 15, 19. I think we're going to make it. All right, um, we might have just squeaked this out by the very skin of my teeth. Two resources lost means <laughs> doomed to. Puts me at 49 threat. Uh, but I do make plenty of progress to clear this deep ravine, which allows me to claim Durin's key, shove it on one of these heroes, and move on to stage three. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, Erdug and Tiny are now... I actually could have traveled to Deep Ravine by... No, I couldn't because I don't have control over him by the time this happens. Doesn't matter. All right, so, Erdug, Tiny, in the staging area, which is getting dramatically crowded. And now all I have to do is kill Erdug. So, in engagement, forced to engage Erdug, which brings Tiny along for the ride. Uh, if there is a doom on this shadow effect, I am so dead. Uh, there aren't many resources to cancel one, even if I did. Uh, that damage could have been healed a long time ago. Uh, but basically, at this point, all I have to do is not die to threat. So Tiny's going to attack for six. Erdog is going to attack for... Call it five on average, I think is about right. Uh, so I'm going to have Darewine defend Tiny. First player controls Erdog, exhaust him. That does nothing. Uh, so Darewine has taken two damage. And Erdug is going. I'll defend with Warden of Helm's Deep. Uh, I should be pretty safe. Shadow effect is nothing. Plus two attack. So the Warden takes, uh, what is that? Three, four, five, takes one point of damage. And I just have to put five on Erdug, which honestly Thalion can do himself. So yeah, uh, if you're allowed to dirtle a little bit uh, on a quest that doesn't really punish you for a slow start, uh, side quests and an army of allies will definitely get you there. Uh, Gildor and Glorian is basically like Arwen, except he doesn't require you to draw Elven Light first. Uh, he is substantially more limited. Um, with Arwen, Steward of Gondor, and Aristor, you can cycle Elven Light a bunch of times, which is great but gildor just lets you pay one honestly it's usually enough uh, especially if you have the side quest that allows you to draw more cards and now that this is taking a while i gotta go and edit this video uh <laughs> edit out the big loud crash which i certainly hope you're not going to have heard a couple of minutes ago <laughs> all right everyone thanks for watching